this is Sandra here and we're on the bed not sure how much you can see which means it's another sort of chatty video and you will always know this from the title so I'm not sure why I'm always bothering but this is a new project pen update and it's the mission 100% cruelty free so this originally came from Sarah Sapphire I always butcher her name I'm so sorry but basically both the playlist and her channel will be down below. There is a few more other people who are participating. You can always search this tag by hashtag mission 100%. No, mission 100 cruelty free. Both here on YouTube and on Instagram. And we update every second month. But mine is going up slightly late because I'm so sorry. I just, I thought I did this and it turns out I didn't. So... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but it it happens sometimes. So we always have five products and everyone does it differently. I know other people do it the way that if they use up five products then they re can they can reset the whole thing. I do it in a way that with powder products, if I hit pen, I can decide if I keep it in or roll it out. Whereas with cream products, I'm just gonna use them, you know, until they're gone. So last time I had a pretty good update and I could roll in four things out of the five. Um, it's not going to happen this time, it's a bit less exciting but nonetheless here we go. So let's start with the product that you can't really see a lot on which is my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer and mine is in the shade Ivory, Light Ivory and while I like it, I don't love it a lot as a concealer. I usually use it as a base for my eyeshadows. And I know it's going because I can see through the tube now in some places. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to. Oh no, you can. So you can see that in a few places now you can see through the tube. So I know it's going. I also took the stopper out. So now there's a lot of product coming out at one time which I'm trying to sort of limit and it's making a mess every single time but there's not much I can do with that unfortunately so I'm not sure how much is going I'm not really someone who measures the products but I know it's going so you know I think it's going to be one of those products that will be with me for a while but that's okay I just I just want to use it up oh by the way if you like this eye look it's gonna come I'm pretty sure this Friday, I think. Because <laughs> if I plan this right, this will go up on... Oh, I actually don't know. But anyway, if it's up already, it's going to be um, one of my um, Friday videos, which is my Use Them Shadows series. I always use an eyeshadow palette, and this one is this week's or next week's look, depending on when this video goes up. I'm not fully sure. I have quite a few videos, that and I'm all trying to put them up for you so we'll see if it's up already I'm gonna link it in the cards if not please keep a lookout for it it's coming next week but next product is a blush and it's my benefit Bella Bamba blush that I just depotted from one of those like Christmas benefit palettes that I got a long long time ago and it's one of my absolute favorite blushes and I told you last time that I already repressed this once so I knew it's not a lot of product in there and I managed to hit pen again there we go so I'm gonna keep this in I really want to use this product up but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna repress it again because last time I did a really horrible job at it you can see it's quite bitty and um, I'm gonna repress it again and keep it in We'll see how far we can take this, but I would love to use it up, and I do love this. It's one of my absolute favorite blushes. It's really similar to the iconic NARS Orgasm blush. It's quite similar to like Becca Snapdragon, and I know Tarte does a really similar brush as well. Or Sleek has one that's called Rose Gold. So there's loads of options out there for this kind of blush, and as you can see, it's just in the little Z palette. I really really enjoy this and as you can see, you will see it on the comparison pictures compared to last time. I already made quite a good progress and I love using it. It just gives a little bit of a glow to the skin already and it's just such a beautiful colour. I, I don't know what's not to like. 
The next product, let's move on. All the other three products are basically lip products. So let's move on to the lip liner first. These are all three products that are on my lips at the moment, although they might be a bit gone by now. <laughs> but these are the three products I applied originally. And the first one is the MAC lip liner in the shade Spice, I think. Yes. And it's just a beautiful nude lip liner. As you can see, I use it quite a good deal. You're gonna see the picture here. I use it quite a good deal and I'm quite happy with my progress. Now, obviously it's one of those liners that's quite easy to throw on. It's just the perfect nude color on me that's maybe a little bit darker. It's not like a full on 90s lip, but it's a bit of a darker brown than, I don't know, something else. <laughs> Then let's say like the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, that's a bit lighter. This is ten a bit darker and I love it on my lips. So it's not a pain to use at all. I love the MAC Lip Liner formulas as well. And this is one of those things that I'm really set to go just because I love the formula. And I tried quite a few other lip liners but none of the formulas are exactly like this. I find it's really quite hard to get it to this kind of consistency. And obviously because you can keep sharpening and it's a proper pencil, not a plastic one, it doesn't create as much rubbish either. I just, I just do love this and it will be a sad day once it's gone. But so far I made a good progress. And then next up it's this Clinique lipstick which is the pop lip colour in the shade Nude Pop. Oh, lip colour and primer. Sorry, the letters are really small. And um, basically, this is a bit like falling apart. It keeps breaking on me. It's just quite old, but it's a beautiful colour. Again, it's quite easy to throw on. It's really comfortable to wear. I'm not sure about the whole like built-in primer thing because it's still a creamier lipstick, so it's not the most long-lasting formula out there. But it's really comfortable to wear and you know when I'm wearing a colorful eye like this or something really dark this is just beautiful on the lips it's a bit more like a peachy but still slightly pinky nudie color that's just so flattering at least on my skin tone and it's really comfortable to wear so I mean you can see it on a progress picture I used almost half of it up already I mean granted it's a smaller lipstick as well but so far I only ever used up one lipstick in my whole life and it was the MAC lipstick that was in my um, roulette pen collab, I think, the first round that I participated in. So if I can use this up, even though it's just a mini, it's gonna make me really happy. And then the last product we finally arrived is the Bourjois 3D Effect Waterproof Gloss in the shade Brun Exotic, although I can't see... Oh, there it is, the sticker now. And I can't really tell if I'm lower than I was last time. Last time I was around this line where it says waterproof. And on one side it sort of still goes up, but on the other side I can like see through the bottle and it looks like I'm only down here. I don't know, you can probably tell as well that in some places you can sort of see through the bottle a little bit and I don't know, it's making it quite hard to tell where I exactly am. I'm gonna be honest though, I haven't used this an awful lot in the past two months, I just, I don't know, I sort of forgot about it so that's my bad really. But I, I still enjoy this again. Waterproof? I don't think so. It's a lip gloss. Let's be honest. Sticky or not, it's not going to last long on your lips. It feels really great though. And again, combined with these two, it looks really nice. It's a bit darker than the lipstick itself, but that's okay. It just combines with them really nicely. I just sort of forgot about this. So I think there's a little bit of progress, but not an awful lot, unfortunately. But that's it. I think it is still quite a good update even though I can't roll in anything. But you can now visibly see progress on the concealer in the fact that you can see through the bottle. Obviously the lipstick and the lip liner you can see it clearly on the paper and I hit pen on a blush. So even though I can't roll in anything new I feel like it's still a really successful update nonetheless. And that's, that's all I have for you today. 
So if you're participating in this project, let me know. I will go ahead and watch some videos on the playlist because as I said, I sort of forgot that it was coming around for updating. And let me know how you think I've done. And for now, I'm gonna go. I hope you like this video. So please give it a thumbs up. And please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean so much to me. But for now, I'm gonna go. I hope you have a lovely day and bye-bye. Mm -hmm.